Hey guys, this is Tyler here. It is November 5th and I'm going to discuss with everyone why they need to buy crypto right now and especially after these presidential elections of the US. Okay, so many people here are aware the US elections have ended but they still currently don't know who the winner is. That This could happen very soon now that the winner is determined. We still don't know if it's Biden or Trump. But anyhow, you really should look at other currencies and especially cryptocurrencies I would highly recommend. You could buy Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP. There's other more speculative, more volatile altcoins that you could also look at that may be interesting. You, you of course, wouldn't put too much in those ones, maybe just a thousand, a couple thousand. And who knows, eventually one of those altcoins could be at the same level as as bitcoin or ethereum down the road as we know the current market cap of of bitcoin is roughly between two to three hundred billion don't quote me on this uh ethereum i think is somewhere in the be anywhere between 10 to 30 billion it of course fluctuates big time i think the market cap is going to go up tremendously in the next year for these respective currencies and of course we have other alternative ones like XRP that is, are still in the billions, lower billions market cap wise. So these have became very popular instruments for people to park some some of their wealth in. And I think this is a phenomenal tool to use if you're a any person, honestly. You, you don't need to be a MGTOW guy, you could be any person. Because I think what's going to happen as we've already seen, inflation will just continue with the currency. And of course, with the petrodollar situation, I think we're going to see currencies go down, especially in the next weeks and months if Joe Biden's elected as president. I, I think you're going to see quite a drop in currencies like the Russian rubble and the Venezuelan Bolivar. These currencies, among other currencies, are just going to drop. And I also think the US dollar will. You, you'll see. A, a drop off in, in this currency also. This is a sign of the times to come, honestly. I mean, I wouldn't put any faith, honestly, in any leader to preserve and to protect the status quo of the society. I think there's many other factors. I think the real estate market is, is still very inflated. It's on a bubble. I think some of the markets, of course, the bubble kind of popped this past summer and late spring when the whole COVID situation came but I still think that there is still a big real estate bubble in many places to this day and I think we see this especially in places like Canada and the US and this will just likely continue until the day comes or year comes that this comes down. Crypto is honestly one of the only ways I think you can basically protect your wealth without the government coming in and confiscating. I'm not saying that it's 100% foolproof here, but you're much more protected with crypto than other investment vehicles like real estate or gold or money in the bank or stocks and bonds. I mean, this really is one of the only vehicles that you can reasonably hide some wealth. And I think especially for you guys who are married or who have long-term relationships, you have shared bank accounts. I mean, if you're in a bad situation, bad predicament, it definitely would be wise to have some crypto. I, I've mentioned this before as a backup because if something goes wrong, you have some money that you can access and that's really important here you can use binance there's of course coinbase i would look at some of the offshore options these probably are a little more trustworthy if you're especially if you're a guy that's like married and you don't want the courts to be able to access your any of your banking information one of the big problems also to to remember here is that Often when you have cryptocurrency, of course you have crypto in a wallet. I actually use the Binance platform myself, but often when you initially deposit the funds, the hard currency, whether you're using Coinbase or Binance, 
you're going to have to link a bank account of some sort to the platform and this is where i think there may be some problems here for guys who do not want to link their u.s bank accounts because in this case there could be a chance that the U u.s uh, government could find out about these crypto accounts and this is why i think it's probably useful for guys to have offshore bank accounts so that uh, they can take the money in the offshore bank account link that to their crypto accounts and this probably be a better vehicle remember here though that offshore bank account you're going to want to make sure that's not tied to your u.s bank account because if you have too much tied to a u.s bank account and an offshore bank account the courts could also find out about this so if it means just like having a wad of cash and depositing it by hand into this offshore bank account then transferring that money or funds into the crypto account this might be the best way this is especially for guys who are married and who are concerned that if something goes wrong they could lose access to their funds this would probably be a foolproof method to avoid this situation i myself am not married but if I were married, this is probably what I would do. Take hard cash, have an offshore bank account, put it into the bank account, transfer that over into crypto, and then just keep it stored in that way. Always understand that whenever you have US bank accounts linked to foreign bank accounts or to other businesses, properties whatever it is in this situation the courts could sometimes find this other wealth and you, you so you, you really have to think about the whole process the whole system here you can't just think about the end result of having the crypto you have to think about the steps leading up to that and can you get to the very first point without that being traced to your U.S. bank accounts? And that th this, I think, is what's key here. Of course, there's some risk with crypto as there is with any investment vehicle. I mean, we've seen the price fluctuate tremendously in the past three years. I mean, it hit that high point in December of 2017 at around $20,000 per Bitcoin and then it dropped. I think in March it got all the way down to around five to seven thousand, I believe, and it has steadily gone back up from that point. This is why, of course, you don't put all your wealth into this investment. But I really think a lot of the cryptos are going to are going to shoot up, especially if Biden's elected. Even if Trump's reelected, I think they're still going to go up. I think there's a lot less faith in these the current monetary system. The currencies of many countries including the u.s dollar and the euro i think it's just going downhill i mean the, the with the COVID situation and and other economic problems in many countries i think there's just a lot more trust being put in crypto and that's why i think right now it's a great time to get some crypto if you can it, it can actually save your life honestly and also remember that crypto system is becoming more and more accepted i mean we see countries like georgia or some other eastern asian countries that have very widely accepted crypto as a form of payment and it's being also very well integrated into corporations and banking systems i mean this crypto is actually becoming very widespread and, and utilized so it's definitely becoming more mainstream and i think as more people adopt it it will just become more popular in the near future here the more you use crypto also the more valued it will become and i think it, more people will adopt it here and it, this is another interesting thing that obviously like any kind of money system or credit cards or mobile payments more people use it the more other people see it and, and also use it and it also becomes more valid i think also keep in mind the current supply of crypto now on the market that's available to purchase is quite low it's at a historical low level which is one of the reasons why it's probably a great time to buy because obviously as the demand becomes higher and the supply becomes lower the price of course goes up who knows the crypto such as bitcoin could become a hundred thousand dollars a bitcoin in two years it's really hard to say compared to stocks and bonds i think it's has a lot of weight also keep in mind it's a very global monetary system of course there's not any borders here that restrict crypto from being transferred and used and it's a system that much of the world is familiar with now which is really cool because that's obviously not the case when we look at other investment vehicles this 
global system of course makes it more widespread also substantially increases its value as a investment vehicle so this is my take on crypto and don't hesitate to go out and get some bitcoin get ethereum get xrp or any other crypto coins that interest you so thank you